Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this absolutely beautiful, fully loaded 2007 Monaco Safari Trek 29 RBD Class A gas motorhome. This is the rare floor plan with the power lift queen bed in the living room. This is a hard to find floor plan, so let's go ahead and get started and show you all the features. This is fully loaded for a Class A gas motorhome. Exterior length is 30 feet, 5 inches, and the exterior height to the full walk-on fiberglass roof is going to be 12 feet. This coach obviously has full body paint. Coach is sitting on the workhorse chassis. Engine is a 8.1 liter Vortex gas engine, 340 horsepower, 450. 55 foot-pounds of torque and 5,000 pound tow capability. There's your power lift queen bed. This is the primary bed for this floor plan. Very unique concept. In 07, these floor plans were hard to find. Go ahead and put this up for the video so we can go ahead and get started with the floor plan. Definitely a neat concept, just so I don't forget. That's that fantastic vent fan right there. There's three of them in this coach, which is definitely you're not going to find on a 30 foot coach. So that's one of the reasons why this is fully loaded. It has every single option they offered in 2007. When the bed is totally up, you have about six feet of clearance. I'm 5'11 and I'll walk underneath it just fine. There you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. I've been doing my videos by starting from the back and working my way up front. So that's what I'm going to do on this. The floor plan has a rear bath. Beautiful one piece shower, fiberglass shower, glass enclosed. Most of your manufacturers were offering a cheap two piece. This is pretty much a residential shower. Nice skylight. Foot flush porcelain toilet with sprayer. Your cabinets are some of the best that they offer. Monaco offers definitely some of the best cabinets, some of the best construction in the RV industry. I do check all coaches for water damage. And usually what I do first is look inside each cabinet, look in the corners, look for any wrinkling in the wallboard or the wallpaper. Usually the wallpaper is pretty easy to uh, see if there's any water damage if it gets wet. So that's one of the things I look for. And also see if I can smell any musty smells, any mildew, anything like that. This coach passed with flying colors. There's your first fantastic vent fan. I went through the brochure and usually I check to see what was optional and see what coach has as far as options. And this has every single one. Double slide floor plan. First slide out is going to be the table and chairs. The fabrics, everything pretty much inside this coach is like the condition, like the day the original owners purchased it. Beautiful. And I believe this pulls out a little bit. Yeah, it does. There might be two extra chairs. I'm going to check and see if they're underneath. You do have the original accordion blinds day night shades they're all in great condition i usually say i would swap them out and put the mcd style roller blinds but uh they're beautiful they're, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them show off the window treatments this is going to be the second slide out from the sink all the way to the refrigerator Again, coin countertops. They're coin countertops in the bathroom also. Add a leaf extension. Another option. Water filtration. I'm going to say the cabinets are some kind of oak. <clears throat> Monaco and Holiday Rambler, they did basically the same company. Uh, they do uh, usually some kind of an oak finish. Some of the best cabinets you're going to get, hands down. Nice three burner gas cooktop. This is not your traditional uh, cooktop for an RV. This is more of a residential. Uh, anyway, the front burner is usually a high output. Convection oven, usually you'd find a microwave. 
but you have a convection oven you do not need an oven so you have more drawers looks to be maybe a cubic foot eight cubic foot uh, Norcold refrigerator it's either eight or six I'm gonna say it's eight gas and electric it does have the ice maker the owner says he's disconnected it just because he just doesn't want to winterize it every every season so it is disconnected but he did say it worked last time it was operating raised wood paneling that was part of an option or part of a package probably got to show the pantry I'm one handed here there we go high traffic area is going to be the vinyl flooring all your carpets in excellent condition I'm tracking grass in here but anyway again I would definitely uh, 1 through 10 10 being the best a, a dealer would would be more than happy to take this in and use it as a, a pre-owned showroom piece obviously the lazy boy recliner didn't come standard with this floor plan uh, the original owner or I'm sorry the owner current owner put this in here if you don't like it take it out I would put a euro style recliner doesn't take up too much space definitely perfect in my opinion for this floor plan carpet is in excellent condition your jackknife sleeper sofa like a futon back and bottom lay down you can definitely sleep uh, one adult or maybe two kiddos and the ultra leather finish is absolutely immaculate there is no wear at all nice mirror accenting in the living room here and you've got some nice lights like reader lights up in the corners on each side coach is a non-smoker it's gonna be your upgraded TV obviously they offered the in 07 the old TVs but definitely a nice upgrade you can't even tell it looks like it came standard with this coach pilot and co-pilot seat obviously swivel ultra leather finish they're in excellent condition show off the co-pilot first nice map light for the co-pilot seat you do have 110 outlets over here and 12 volt hookup and a phone jack all right And again, pilot seat in excellent condition. There's your workhorse chassis badge there. Start up the engine real quick. Currently, the coach has 29,140 miles on the coach. ABS brake is going to go off. Yep, go off here in a second. There we go. Starting from the left, automatic leveling system. Uh, up top, oh, let's see here, let's swivel this chair around. There we go, so I can see what I'm doing. All right, uh, heated mirrors, chrome heated mirrors, that was another option. Uh, your lights, uh, overdrive off and on, six speed uh, transmission with overdrive. Grade brake, that's nice. Nice dash finish. Looks like he's got brake control here, electronic brake control hook up here. Stereo, there's your HVAC uh, knobs there, and then your power shades for passenger and driver. Battery boost button ties your house battery and chassis battery together, uh, just in case your chassis battery is dead. Your generator start and stop button right here. Uh, the owner says the generator will start with this button, but it won't turn off. So you have to go outside and turn off the generator, and I'll show you where the generator is. But that's the only thing that the owner has uh, knows about, and he just he just it never really bothered him. So uh, if you want to get fixed, uh, you probably check that out. But the generator will not turn off, and it's probably just some kind of a switch problem, maybe. Backup camera here. You do have the three view backup camera side cameras and the backup camera that was another option all right you get the idea all right fantastic vent fan controls here you give you an idea of the floor plan here padded ceilings 
all throughout. This is a Four Seasons camper. You do have heated holding tanks on this. Uh, you've got a heated uh, water bay that I'll show you. All right, uh, it's gonna be your power awnings. You do have all the awnings on this that they offered. Uh, this is gonna be your inverter. The owner has the inverter disconnected. And uh, anyway, he just, he, it's more of a, pro -ish, it's just a pain in the butt. If uh, something goes wrong, sometimes I guess he says it could be the inverter so he just he's an electrician so he just disconnected it uh, house battery disconnect right here and uh, tank monitors here we go I believe your LP tank is 24 gallon your freshwater tank is 60 and your black tank which is your toilet is gonna be 40 gallon and your gray tank which is your sink and shower that's gonna be 40 gallons water heater a 10 gallon water heater that was another option standard was six direct spark ignition whether you hooked up to uh, shore power or you're boondocking 15 minutes later you got hot water uh power system heat so this is going to be your uh, heated compartment areas i believe it might be heat pads on the holding tanks but you are set up for like a polar uh insulation uh package on this and driver side slide out and passenger side slide out and then the power lift bed right here easy to figure out thermostat controls here light switch off and on let's turn that one on and oh those are the lights for right here access on the steps here and ceiling lights step light let's yeah, turn that on nice phone jack right there all right let's go outside. uh this is your battery disconnect button here so let's see what that one was yeah house and chassis battery disconnect okay all right full body paint coach again this is this is definitely not entry level it has everything the owners has done uh, the current owner has done a ton of stuff to this new awning fabrics all the way around power 18 foot awning and you can actually uh, control the awning from inside or right here little button right there Monaco offer the best of the best and that is the guard awning guard on that so when awnings rolled up it's guarded uh, and protected from the elements let's back up here show off that full body paint there's a few little rub marks on the corners that I'll show you it's really a, a normal wear and tear as far as I'm concerned uh, and the 3M mask I'll show you it shows a little bit of wear and this is normal those 3M masks, they do start showing some signs of wear. But start from the front, one piece windshield, beautiful front molded painted fiberglass cap, fiberglass roof. That's a big deal. Everybody else is going to be a one piece or a fiber, a rubber roof. Uh, let's see if I can show you. See? It's not scratches in the paint. This is in that, that film. And you can take the film off and it will look just like just like the side of the coach um, I believe I, I've got a service guy who who did one I, th I believe it was about 600 bucks but definitely well worth it just go ahead and take it off best paint you're gonna get in the industry Safari Trek badge there tires are only about four years old the owner when he bought it four years ago he slapped new ones on the sizes are 245-70R 19.5s, and they're in excellent condition. Nice, beautiful wheel simulators. Insulated side hinge baggage doors, and that is pass-through storage right there. All the way to the other side. Battery disconnect there. Another pass-through. On a 30-foot Class A gas motorhome, you have two compartments that are passed through. It's unheard of. Battery compartment, and this is a slide-out tray. Definitely another big selling feature. The power steps. Uh, the owner put an additional step on here, so when it's down, if it's with certain situations, if it calls for it, you got a third step to come down. But this collapses right in. Oh, central vac system. And usually at the end of my videos, I say, I know I didn't get everything. There's your central vac right there. I almost forgot to point that out. And this little latch here opens this, lays it down. So you have a, your step wells all covered up. Man, 
I'm missing all the big features. I'm slipping. Look, another pass through right there. He's got the ladder for the bed up in there. I believe that's for the bed, or it's for the ladder out back. Pass through storage. Oh, all the accessories that are in the coach that you see in the video are going with the coach. The stuff to clean it, brushes, squeegees. He's got screens here for the exterior windshield, for the windshield, for exterior, for covering up, for privacy at night. He's got all the good stuff. There's your 24 gallon LP tank. Kind of back up here. Sun's gonna get me. Rear ladder, that was an option. Rear molded cap two. Front and rear cap on a Class A gas motorhome. If you're looking at a gas motorhome, 2007, uh, pretty good chance it's not a rear molded fiberglass cap. That was also an option, the mud flap. Safari badge there, 5,000 pound tow, seven way pigtail. Seven way pigtail. I guess I'm using RV lingo. Uh, the only thing on this little bit of clear coat coming off right here, right here, and just a little bit right here. That's normal wear and tear. Uh, I would put this coach up against any 2007, any 2008 uh, coach all day long. Little, little scuff mark, little touch up paint, touch that up. It's a non-issue, just cosmetic. Nope, stinky slinky hose there. This is your water hookups area and it is heated. There's your little 12 volt heater right there. That's how Monaco heats their water base. Another monitor right here. I believe that was an option for the second monitor. There's your water pump in case you have to service it. Outside shower, a hot and cold running water, fresh water tank hookup and your fresh water fill. Uh, switch that for potable water. Uh, this is gonna be all your gate valves. You know, they're all protected from the elements. This is the reason why you can go into cold seasons, stream weather, uh, fresh water hook up, flushed, uh, flushes out your toilet. This right here, the owner's taking care of it. The shot gave out, he's replacing that, so non issue. Storage lights, outside storage lights, I guess. Water pump, nice. Side hinge baggage doors, that was a huge uh, feature for a Class A gas motorhome. 50 amp service, not 30. So any gas motorhome you're looking at more than likely in 2007 was probably more than likely a 30 amp service coach. I believe you have dual fuel fills. I have to double check, uh, but fuel fill, 75 gallon fuel tank on this. And again, tires are in excellent condition. There's your 5,500 own in Marquise gold generator. Uh, standard was a 4,000. And standard on this coach was 30 amp service. Hours on the Jenny are right there. Let's back up. Is it focusing in? Looks like 467 hours on the Jenny. The owner has a, a boogie lights on this coach up underneath it. So it lights up at night. Looks real cool. That's what most of the people are doing on these high end coaches now. And they turn different colors blue, red, black. Man, a lot of pass-through storage on this coach. And your tires. Beautiful coach. Side cameras. And the chrome heated mirrors. All an option. Double check. And there's another option. Window awning. And of course your fiberglass roof. Full walk-on. This coach has the best of the best. I'm going to say it. I know I didn't get everything. Absolutely beautiful coach. If I had a family member that was looking for an RV right now, I would tell them definitely to come look at this. All right. If you want to come see the coach, call the number on the ad. You always deal directly with the owner. Or you can call 502-645-3124. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, leave it just below. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.